Here's a really good and more challenging circle question that I've seen. We got tangent TB and secant TCA that are drawn to the circle O. Diameter AB is drawn, TC equals 6 and CA equals 10. Our goal here is to find line segment CB. I haven't seen this since my geometry days and I had to look it up because I knew the problem's going to require some kind of special relationship. And it does and it's called the tangent secant theorem. So if you want to look up that proof, go ahead and do so. But basically, this relationship was made out of similar triangles and its ratios. The tangent secant theorem states that TB squared is going to equal line segment TC times TA. And you're going to see later why we need this theorem and why we need line segment TB. Let's go ahead and fill in what we know. TC equals 6 and TA is the combination of these two line segments. So all you got to do is add these up. 6 times 16 equals TB squared. So don't multiply these out. There's a small shortcut you can take to find TB. If I square root TB squared, then I have to square root 6 times 16. And it makes it easy because this one is a perfect square. So that's going to get me TB equals 4 root 6. So now that we got that line segment, let's move on to the second piece that we need to know for this problem. And that is the angle measurement for this right here. So if you got an inscribed angle inside a circle, then this intercepted arc is going to be double of what this measurement is. And if you observe how this angle opens up, it opens up to a semicircle because this is your diameter. So a half a circle has a 180 degree measurement. This is going to be double what that is, or this is going to be half of 180 degrees. So half of 180 degrees is going to make this angle measurement 90. And if that is 90 degrees and you got a straight line right here, that makes this angle measurement 90 degrees as well. You got a 90 degree triangle right here with two given side lengths. From here, we could just pop in the Pythagorean theorem. I redrew it at the bottom so it's less confusing. A six is going to represent my A. This is going to be my C because that's my hypotenuse. And this is going to be my B. So let's go ahead and set that up. That's going to get me 6 squared plus b squared equals 4 root 6 squared. Simplify some stuff. That's going to get me 36 plus b squared equals. Don't forget that you got to square each one of these. 4 squared equals 16. And square root of 6 squared is just going to make this times 6. Simplify some more. We get 96 equals 36 plus b squared. And from here, all we got to do is get b by itself. b squared equals 60. And now we got to square root both sides to get b equals root 60. So 60 can be written as 4 times 15. And that's going to simplify to 2 root 15. That one was kind of tough. And I'm glad that I got to review this with you because I haven't seen this in a while. Hopefully that helped. And if it did, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.